uh, dear students this is steam nozzle problem part to 4 example 4.11 steam nozzle is supplied 10 kg per second steam at 15 bar and 3 degrees celsius and discharges steam at 1 bar assuming isentropic flow negligible inlet velocity determine throat area exit velocity and exit area the initial condition of the steam p1 equal to 15 bar and 350 degrees celsius exit condition is p3 equal to 1 bar so initially it is superheated steam so the properties of superheated steam enthalpy 15 bar and 350 degrees celsius enthalpy 3148.7 kJ per kilogram entropy 7.104 kJ per kilogram kelvin and the specific volume 0.1865 meter cube per kilogram uh, for superheated steam n equal to 1.3 now the throat area uh, throat area you have to calculate now you, you substituting you take maximum discharge m by a maximum equal to 2 by n square root of 2 by n plus 1 p1 by v1 into 2 by n plus 1 to the power n by 2 by n minus 1 substituting m by a equal to 2 2 triple 2 8 throat area equal to so throat area ma maximum mass flow rate will occur only at the throat area so throat area a2 equal to mass flow rate divided by triple two eight which is 4.5 10 power minus 3 meter square at the exit of the nozzle p3 equal to 1 bar you take all the value from the table number 2 h of 3 h of g3 s of 3 s of g3 vg3 uh, then entropy for isentropic flow entropy is constant s1 equal to s3 equal to s of 3 plus x3 into s of g3 so substituting we will get x3 equal to 0.96 so the enthalpy of the steam at the exit h of 3 plus x3 into h of g3 which is 2 to 85.1 kJ per kilogram and the specific column is x3 into vg3 which is 1.626 meter cube per kilogram so velocity at the exit equal to square root of 2000 into h1 minus h3 that is equal to 1314.2 meters per second. So the exit area is A3 equal to M specific volume B3 divided by velocity B3 is equal to 0 0.0124 meters square. So the answer throat area is 4.5 10 power minus 3 meters square. Exit velocity is 1314.2 meters per second and the exit area is 0 0.0124 meters square. Now example 4.12. The a steam nozzle is applied with the steam at 7 bar 270 degrees Celsius and it discharges steam at 1 bar. If 10% of total available enthalpy drop is, is lost in the friction in the divergent portion, find the velocity at the throat and the exit. Uh, so the initial condition P1 equal to 7 bar 270 degrees Celsius, final condition P3 equal to 1 bar. So from the superheated steam table, you take the property enthalpy to h1 and entropy s1 so from the table number 4 and s1 from the table number 5 at the p3 p1 equal to 1 bar so h of 3 h of g3 s of 3 and s of g3 all the value from the steam table table number 2 for isentropic flow s1 equal to s3 equal to s of 3 plus x3 and s of g3 uh, substituting the values x3 equal to 0.974 so at exit the enthalpy is h3 equal to h of 3 plus x3 into h of g3 so h3 equal to 4.417.5 plus 0.974 in 2256.9 that is equal to 2615.72 kilojoules per kilogram the exit velocity v3 equal to square root of 23 2000 into h1 minus h2 that is equal to square root of 2000 into 3006.9 minus 2615.72 72 that is equal to 884 meters per second for superheated steam at the inlet throat pressure p2 equal to p1 into 2 by n plus 1 to the power n by n minus 1 so n equal to 1.3 for superheated steam so this is 3.8 bar so at the throat section again 3.8 bar i take the value hg2 sg2 and ts2 from the table number 2 and at the throat section we assume it is superheated steam so s1 equal to s2 that is equal to sg2 plus cp into logarithmic of t2 by ts2 so t2 is the temperature of the superheated steam at the throat section so substituting the values and calculating t2 equal to 203.6 degree celsius
Then the enthalpy of the steam at the throat section, H2 equal to HG2 plus Cp into TS2, I mean T2, that is the temperature of the superheated steam minus TS2. Substituting, this is, uh, here Cp is taken as 2.1 or even you can take 2.2 as, uh, it is a constant 2.1 or 2.2. So, the enthalpy is 2865.08 kilojoules per kilogram and the velocity at the throat section is 2000 into square root of 2000 into H1 H2. Uh, substituting will get 532.6 meters per second. Exit velocity of the steam if 10 percent loss in the divergent portion. That means the efficiency is 90 percent. Uh, so, 2000 into H1 minus H3 into 0.9. So, that gives 839.1 meters per second. So, exit velocity V3 equal to 884.5 meters per second. Exit velocity at the throat equal to velocity at the throat equal to 532.6 meters per second, and exit velocity of the steam for 10 percent loss of energy that is equal to 839.1 meters per second. And the another problem, example 4.13, a set of 16 nozzles for an, for an impulse turbine receives steam at 16 bar and 300 degrees Celsius. The pressure of the steam at the exit is 10 bar. If the total discharge is 245 kilograms per minute, nozzle efficiency is 0.9. Find the cross sectional area of the steam at the exit of the nozzle. If the steam has velocity 10, 100 meters per second at the entry of the nozzle, find the percentage increase in the discharge. Now, it is a number of nozzles are 16. So, number of nozzles are 16. Inlet condition P1 equal to 16 bar, T1 equal to 300 degrees Celsius, V1 equal to 100 meters per second, and M equal to 245 kilograms per minute. And exit pressure is P2 equal to 10 bar. Nozzle efficiency is 0.9. First, negligible, first condition, negligible inlet velocity. So, P1 equal to 16 bar, T1 equal to 300 Celsius. H1 from the table number 4 for superheated steam. S1 from the table number 5 for superheated steam. So, you take the values. And uh, P2 equal to 10 bar and TS2 equal to 779.9 VG2, HG2, SG2 from this table number 2. For isentropic flow, for isentropic flow, S1 equal to S2 equal to SG2 plus Cp into logarithmic of T2, temperature of superheated steam at the outlet divided by saturation temperature. So, temperature is 250.4 degrees Celsius. And specific volume at the outlet, Vg2 equal to T2 by TS2, this is 0.2245 meter cube per kilogram. H2 equal to HG2 plus Cp into T2, temperature of superheated steam at the outlet minus TS2. So, H2 equal to 2924.25 kilojoules per kilogram. Velocity of the nozzle at the exit. Velocity of the steam at the exit. V2 equal to square root of 2 into H1 minus H2 into 1000 into nozzle efficiency. Nozzle efficiency is given. So, V2 equal to 2000 into 3036.2 minus 2924.25 into 0.9. That is equal to 448.9 meters per second. Okay. Now, flow rate per nozzle. So, M equal to M equal to 245 divided by 16, 60 divided by 16. So, 245 by 60, that is in kilograms per second and 16 per nozzle equal to 0.255 kilograms per second. So, area at the exit of the nozzle, A2 equal to M into specific volume at the outlet, divided by velocity at the outlet that gives the 1.275 10 power minus 4 meter square. Now, if inlet velocity is 100 meters per second, so there will be change, all the other calculations are very much similar, there will be change in the velocity at the exit, V2 dash equal to V1 square into 2000 into H1 minus H2 into nozzle efficiency. So, substituting velocity at the exit now, it becomes 459.9 meters per second. Now, the new mass flow rate equal to A2 V2 dash divided by small V2. So, the specific volume here, you have to note the change. So, this is small v2 which is 0.261 kilograms per second. So, the percentage increase in the uh, percentage increase in the mass flow rate discharge and the mass flow rate equal to 0.261 minus 0.255 divided by 0.261 equal to 2.3 percentage. So, the exit area of the nozzle is 1.275 10 power minus 4 meter square and the percentage of increase in discharge equal to 2.3 percentage. So, that is all the problem on the nozzle. So, we solved some 13 problems and uh, you follow, you understand and you take the same problem again 
and solve with the help of the steam table.